Hey guys, welcome back for another video. And so for the day's vlog, um, I'll be um, talking about the credit cards in the Philippines for foreigners. Okay, so um, before you proceed this video, um, please do subscribe to my YouTube channel. And for more updates, just click the notification rainbow button. And follow my social media accounts on Instagram, Threads, X, TikTok, and Laika at Reireinatics. Okay, so... Um, I, I wanted I also wanted to add this if you don't like my contents like this then you can definitely exit this video na lang and man and find another content creator that is more favorite favorable to you um, regarding on credit card contents because uh, for me um, this is what I actually created so yeah um, I just wanted to apologize for that for that matter if you don't like my contents like this then you can definitely exit this video um, because I've been receiving some negative comments lately so um, to avoid that um, just exit this video and for those uh, people who wants to give me some negative comments I'll, I'll be the one to first to say this you're just wasting your time <laughs> so yeah um, uh, yeah that's it so right now, um, I'll be speaking um, English for now. I'm not going to use my na native language, which is uh, Filipino, um, because um, a lot of you are enjoying watching my contents, especially with my U.S. credit cards. So basically, I have both credit cards from the Philippines, and I have U.S. credit cards basically so um, right now um, I'll, I'll be creating this kind of um, content because one of my subscriber chatted me on Instagram that um, that uh, I, I'll, I'll be created I'll be creating uh, how to get a credit card in the Philippines as a foreigner um, so basically when getting a credit card in the Philippines, um, I'm gonna say this to you: it's very difficult to get a credit card uh, back from the Philippines um, rather than here in the United States. Because here, um, you know that here in the United States, um, you know the the common um, document that you need to submit is the Social Security. That's it. Um, in the Philippines, um, yeah, we also have the social social security too, and then the tax ident identification number. But you need to submit some additional documents, such such as the income document. So it's really um, it's really compli uh, complicated. So that's why um, I'm going to share it to you one by one, and then. Yeah, uh, before you proceed, I would like to apologize if my English grammar were very wrong sometimes because, you know, um, I'm still getting used to and try to understand what I'm trying to sh I'm saying to you. So, yeah, that's it. Okay, so right now, um, yeah, I'll be sharing with you the credit cards in the Philippines as a, as a foreigner to apply for any credit cards that you like. So, yeah. So, um, there are some banks that would likely offer credit cards for foreigners and some banks were not. So, the banks that I'm going to mention are BBO, PNB, Union Bank, and East West Bank. That, um, that's the four banks that I would um, share to you right now. So, yeah. Um, and then the rest of the banks, I don't know if they were qualified to apply for a credit card as a foreigner because um, they actually never mention what are the doc documents needed for foreign na national so yeah I actually checked the BPI the RCBC what else yeah so on and so forth so right now I'll be just sharing with you the the four banks that uh, most likely um, to get a credit cards with them as a foreigner so yeah um, and then um, the qualifications of getting a credit card from the 
uh, back from the Philippines are um, you need to be six uh, sorry 21 to 60 years old for principal and at least 13 years old for supplementary car card holders and then the next one would be applicant must be a Filipino citizen or a foreigner who is um, res resident of the Philippines and then the next one would be the minimum gross monthly income um, depending on its product um, starting from 15,000 pesos or maybe um, 180,000 pesos for annual income um, that is actually particular for some basic credit cards so, such as the word um, blue and ca classic so yeah Th those are the basic credit cards uh, that I mentioned and then I think there were some um, higher minimum income such as like um, 25 20,000 or 30,000 I think that's um, that that is a touch for the word gold card so yeah it only depends on that and then the next one would be um, you have a postpaid line or postpaid mobile phone and then the next one would be you need to have your at um, tax I tax identification number and at the same time your social security system or SSS GSIS and UMIT number so yeah and then the last one this would be optional your credit card account with other banks if any is current and in good credit standing um, it actually in a sense that um, you have an existing credit card but if not it's okay that's optional so that, that is the qualifications and then um, the next one I'll be sharing with you to gather the documents that you need to submit so um, letter A would be the proof of ident identification um, for both both primary and supplementary applicant so um, of course for Filipinos um, you have the um, Philippine passport postal ID driver's license um, SSS ID, UMID ID, it's a sense of that IDs that we have as Filipinos but um, in for, for foreigners um, there will be some requirements that um, there will be some IDs that I'll be mentioning mention it later and then for supplementary applicants who are studying um, or basically as a student basically may submit a, a valid school ID instead so yeah and then for, for foreign nationals so um, listen carefully um, what are the documents needed so um, the this is for ide identification so you, you need to submit um, and any one of the following valid documents such as your valid visa and work permit or alien employment permit or AEP with validity of more than one year so yeah and then alien certificate of registration or ACR or immigrant certificate of registration or ICR and then um, valid passport with any of the following such as the special investors resident visa and then special non-immigrant visa for PESA in uh, P-E-Z-A um, I would say investors and employees or visa with EO226 so yeah and then yeah that that's for uh, um, proof of identification sorry sorry if there will be background noises because um, I'm just filming outside so yeah and then the next one would be the proof of income so um, this would be um, valid for all um, employment such as the Filipinos and non-Filipinos so um, for employment for employed applicants so you need you need to submit the photocopy of um, latest income income tax return or ITR duly stamped by receive 
as as received by the Bureau, Bureau of Internal Revenue or BIR or BIR form 2316 signed by employers authorized represent, representative so yeah and then you need you, you also need to submit any one of the following so yeah and then yeah the the following are the latest full month full month space slip I would highly recommend to at, to submit at least three months pay slip or if ever um, some kind of like a at least 12 pay, 12 months space yeah 12 months pay slip so something like that so yeah and then original certificate of employment including status um, service that yeah service tenor and sorry um, I actually don't know how to pronounce it so yeah and then and compen compens compensation breakdown or um this would be the um optional too if with existing credit cards the copy of your latest two at this um two months statement of account so yeah um yeah that's for employed applicants and then the next one would be self-employed applicants so you need to submit the photocopy of your latest income tax return uh, as received by the BIR and audited financial statements for at least two years. And then um, you need to submit the DTI registration for um, sole proprietorship and for C C sorry SEC registration for partnership uh corporation so yeah and then optional is that um you ha you have the last tr um three months bank statement so that's basically optional so yeah um i don't know if you understand all of my um all of all of the words that i'm trying to say but um yeah it's really complicated that when you actually applying for um, a credit card in the Philippines as a, as a foreigner um, I think one I think the alter, alternative way for you to get a credit card even though that you don't have a job um, I would highly recommend to get a secret credit card um, in that way um, if you actually find yourself getting a lot of disapprovals because um, Getting a credit card in the Philippines is actually kind of like a it's not of like a mass approval it's subject for approval so yeah unlike here in the United States if you actually apply for a credit card and then instantly you get approved but in the Philippines it's not you have to wait for at least sometimes it's either a week or two weeks or sometimes it would be like one month or two months and then you have to wait a call to confirm all of the informations that you submit and then yeah you have to wait for some of like um, some of the days and then yeah um, you have the decision whether you are approved or not so yeah um, I know getting a, cred getting a credit card in the Philippines is very difficult <laughs> so yeah um but you have to work on it too as well so yeah and then um what else i wanted to share with you i know this um vlog was actually exceeded some extra some extra time already but don't worry if you actually don't if you actually don't, don't act, understand what i'm trying to sh share it to you um, I can put some informations on the description bo box below so that um, you can have some sort of ideas so what I'm sharing with you right now and then um, what else do I want to share with you is yeah um, so basically um, in the Philippines they always advise some every banks that um, they would never ask for um, any kind of information information such as your 
um, credit card number, the CBP or CBC, the expiration date, and your full name on your card, or even some OTP when somebody sent it to you. And then um, you have to check as well uh, uh, when it comes to the caller ID. So example, the caller ID should be BDO instead of the same kind of like a mobile numbers and stuff. So that's automatically um, scam scammer. So yeah. So in the Philippines, uh, they actually always advise us to um, they that they actually never uh, ask for some kind of information and all that. So yeah. Um, and I actually didn't see any any kind of advice here in the United States. So I wish they would share that as well because I've been watching some news um, um, some kind of Americans who had been scammed for um, um, kind of like a, a hundred uh, a hundred thousand dollars so something like that so yeah um, I wish some um, some giving advices to others when it comes to kind of like um, scams and all that because in the Philippines yeah uh, they always give us some advice so yeah and yeah I think that's it so if you actually don't understand what I'm trying to share with you I'll be uh, putting some informations in the description box so that you can um, you can review all of the things that I said earlier so yeah and again if you actually don't like my content then just exit this video and find another content content creator that is similar for this um this vlog so again i would i would like to apologize again if my english grammar were very wrong sometimes um because i'm i'm still getting used to since i'm here in the united states and of course um some foreigners who, who would like to get a credit card in the philippines so so that you may have some thoughts about it too as well so yeah i think that sums up the video so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you on my next video so my apologies if there are some back noises because you know i'm filming outside i'm in hawaii kai town center so yeah i'm in honolulu hawaii basically so yeah okay so if you actually got a credit card and as a foreigner basically <laughs> uh, please let me know but by comment comment in the comment box below so yeah so that I can actually know so thank you guys for watching and I'll see you on my next video and peace for now